Hollywood Hampton Roads. A look through the lens at the work of local filmmakers. From Hollywood to Hampton Roads. With your hosts, Jeff Frizzell and Hunter Thomas. It's time to experience passion. The restaurant, Chesapeake's best kept secret. Nestled in the heart of Greenbrier on Volvo Parkway, passion offers a fine dining experience in a relaxing setting that's perfect for almost any occasion. We use the best quality ingredients. All of our produce is locally grown. Come visit us and share our passion. Welcome to the fourth Mike Stallman of Hollywood Hampton Roads. We are here at the lovely Attics Theater. It's a state and national um, historical landmark, opened in 1919. And do you know that that stage has had people on it like Duke Ellington, uh, Dinah Washington, uh, Nat King Cole, Red wow. Fox, and today it's going to have Jeff Frizzell, the commissioner of the Hampton Roads Film Office, and... Hunter Thomas, local producer, director extraordinaire. Oh, nice. Very nice. Thank and you. And the Attics is in Norfolk, Virginia. It's on the corner of Virginia Beach Boulevard and Church Street. If you haven't been, you should come out and see it. It's a great place with some great programs tons, and some great history. Tons of stuff going on here. It they is. are also the host of the Mid-Atlantic Mid -Atlantic Black Film Festival, which is coming up in October. Don't Fourth year. Fourth year, right on. Um, who are our guests today? Our guests, we have a, a New York oh, yeah, theme like a New show York today. Theme. Yep. We first have Monty Ross, who is Spike Lee's guy. He's done a lot of stuff for Spike Lee. Um, and Marlon Adams, who has been here about four years. His mm -hmm. wife is from the area, and yep. he's also from New York. So a couple of New Yorkers on the show Name today it? with a nice bunch of projects going on. So we're looking forward to those guys. Right on. And what else? What's been happening? What happened to you last week? Oh, you know, last week was a good week. Busy week last week. Um, gotten a lot of fan support. A lot of people talking about the show. I know. Appreciate really that, like you it. guys. Like, like the, like the. Really cool. And I'm not. I don't interrupt as much anymore, right? Oh no, maybe I just did. Oh, I don't that's care. Okay. I kind of like it. No, he, he likes I'm interrupting. Used, but this is right. Jeff I'm used to it. <laughs> uh, so what else is happening? Oh well, big stuff actually. There is. Um, I think there's going to be um, that thing is going to be shot here soon. That thing? Yeah, it came in through the film office. Which thing? The, um, the thing. The, the thing that's going to be shot here. Oh, that thing. Okay, so there's a thing going on. Yeah, always uh, a thing going on. <laughs> uh, Matt Lockhart, he's Seven Cities Media. They've got a movie getting ready to shoot they starting, do? I think, next week. Yeah, a little horror film, The uh -huh. Waterman. Kind the Waterman? I grew up near The Waterman. Kind of excited about that. They're, uh, you know little SAG ultra low budget film happening and where's our popcorn you're supposed to get popcorn for I us. I tried to get popcorn but the theater had no popcorn so what are you gonna do because there's not a movie going on right yeah, now. it's not really where's this the screen the oh I see it comes yeah, down like that down. oh cool yeah. you guys will get to see what we're looking at momentarily because we're gonna turn it all around oh no you won't we'll be facing this way again anyway oh, well. Let's just get out of here. All right, that's probably good. Three idea. minutes with Jay. <laughs> Three minutes with us is long guest. enough. I know, way too long. It's time to experience passion. The restaurant, Chesapeake's best kept secret. Nestled in the heart of Greenbrier on Volvo Parkway, passion offers a fine dining experience in a relaxing setting that's perfect for almost any occasion. We use the best quality ingredients. All of our produce is locally grown. Come visit us and share our passion. Okay, ladies, let me show you how it's done. All right, Papa. <laughs> Sweet. Oh, yeah. Why didn't you bring cigars? Oh, like that would have helped. Hey, did you just come out of the water? You need cigars, and you need a new swing. <laughs> Allow me to present an award-winning full-bodied masterpiece, the Don Pepin Blue Label. And as for your swing, have you tried tennis?
Jay Gates with the Hollywood Hampton Road Show, and today we are on location of an industrial film, and uh, we're going to go behind the scenes, talk to some of the crew that uh, are the unsung heroes behind the camera that make this whole thing happen. So uh, let's see who's around. So here's one of the production assistants, and uh, as a production assistant, I imagine uh, you're responsible for uh, for feeding the whole crew. You made all the food and all that stuff. Uh, no, nah, that was actually the caterer that made this food, and this is this is Pepperidge Farm. All right. Well, I imagine like uh, you set it all up and made it sure it was all hot and fresh and ready to go, right? Mm, caterer does that too. I don't really. No, nah. no, that's not me. Well, uh, the drinks though. At least uh, you you keep the drinks cold, right? Ready for the uh, ready for the crew. I guess if you look at it technically, the ice keeps the drinks cold. But yeah, from a second hand perspective, I, it's me that keeps the drinks cold. Yeah, you you load the ice, right? Yeah, definitely. I put it in the cooler. That works. Can I have one of those? Ah, sure. Thanks. Don't worry. Don't worry. The grips will get that. Yeah, with the grips. <laughs> Grips are coming. Yeah. And here we are with uh, set designer and set builder Jack Ryan. Relax, Jack. This is only a drill. That was so lame. So, uh, of course, uh, wardrobe goes way beyond just uh, just costumes, though. Uh, tell me, you, you're also telling me about uh, being on the set of, uh, was it uh, The New World, right? The New World. Yeah, well, sometimes, you know, it depends on what kind of special effects and what the situation calls for. So you could be knee-deep in mud. Um, and dirt, and suddenly you're no longer a on-set customer, but you are termed Dirt Girl. Dirt Girl. That's my ex-girlfriend must have been in uh, costume and wardrobe because they called her that while we dated. Oh. After when we broke up, they didn't call her that anymore. I don't know. That's weird. All right, so we're with the director of this whole project, John Forte. John, tell us what's going on here. Well, we're working with a bunch of actors uh, in from town and also from out of town, and uh, gosh, working with a bunch of people, great crew, and uh, you know, this is the studio here. This is where the magic happens, and only a few of us are allowed to go in. It's a select few, and just right through this door. Let's go. Let's see. <coughs> hey, it's John. Um, is there a problem? What? No, it's just. Uh, well, they know you. John Forte. They know you're here, right? I don't. I don't know. I mean, I just. The the John Forte. I know they're shooting. I just probably they probably don't, don't. Cut. Cut. Hello. Maybe there's a back way. We are here with our first guest, Monty Ross, executive producer, Clockers, co-producer, Crooklyn, Malcolm X, Jungle Fever, Do the Right Thing. It just goes <laughs> on and on. Yeah, I had a, a wonderful run there. It's, yeah, so we'll, me and Spike. Yeah, me and Spike. Spike Lee it. joint. The Spike Lee joint. Well, I'm, I'm glad you're here with us today, but I think we're all curious. So what, what are you doing here in Virginia? Hampton Roads. Well, you know, I got smitten by the Attics Theater and uh, Miss Gail Easley yeah, and the programs good. that she puts together there and the Mid-Atlantic Black Film Festival. And I was invited to come down by Professor Eleanor Earle at Hampton University. And she said, have you ever heard of the Mid-Atlantic Black Film Festival? I said, no. So I came down. And I fell in love with the place. I fell in love with the Attics Theater. You know, it's one of the world's oldest African-American owned and operated African-American theaters. Yeah, it's a landmark. Too. It's they a landmark. It's a beautiful job restoring this theater. Yeah. And, uh, and when I learned the history, uh, Jeff, of, of the theater itself and the renovation, I was like, wow, this is, this is fantastic. And we had a wonderful time at the festival. You know, the Mid-Atlantic Black Film Festival was wonderful. We had wonderful. Uh, movies, mm -hmm. the panel discussions, a lot of people came out and, and we had a lot of publicity. And I was like, oh wow, this is really cool. And so when I went back, uh, I signed up to be on the, uh, the email list at the Addicts, you know, and uh, Gail uh, sent me an email back and she goes, oh, well, that's cool that you signed up for it. And then I sent her a letter of intent. I said, hey, I would like to, you know, participate and volunteer. And I sent my uh, resume and, and everything and she was like wow you really are serious about that one over, right? Right? <laughs> and so she looked at it and she saw all the credits and she says wow would you are you for real that you would like to work with it? I said yeah sure she reached out you're coming with us <laughs> you're our volunteer so um yeah and then from there what happened uh, I came on as a consultant to talk about the festival 
And, and then once I started uh, coming down, talking about, you know, the different things that we can do uh, with the festival, and then she came up with a Behind the Lens, which was a, a film training program that she thought would really work well with kids. And we hit it off big. Yeah. And the next thing you know, we were out raising funds for it, and we got a commitment for the funds. And in March of this year, 2010, we had our first session, our first six-week session. And the kids just, they loved it. They loved it. And there's a big interest here for screenwriting and Huge. learning how to work with, you know, cameras and doing film production and things of that nature. So we had a, we had a blast, you know. And now we're off, we did our second session, and uh, unfortunately our third session what happened was our instructor got a job over in South Africa. And we're going to let you tell us about that when we come back. We're going to watch some clips of some of the stuff the kids have done and when we come back we'll hear the rest of the stories. You got it. See you when we get back. Okay, ladies, let me show you how it's done. All right, pop it in. <laughs> Sweet. Oh, yeah. Why didn't you bring cigars? Oh, like that would have helped. Hey, did you just come out of the water? You need cigars, and you need a new swing. <laughs> Allow me to present an award-winning full-bodied masterpiece, the Don Pepin Blue Label. And as for your swing, have you tried tennis? It's time to experience passion. The restaurant, Chesapeake's best kept secret. Nestled in the heart of Greenbrier on Volvo Parkway, passion offers a fine dining experience in a relaxing setting that's perfect for almost any occasion. We use the best quality ingredients. All of our produce is locally grown. Come visit us and share our passion. See, honey, it's us. You recognize us now? Ima, pop up. What are you guys doing here? I knew you were coming here. I saw all those brochures in your room. Baby, why would you want to come to a planet like Earth? I mean, its creatures are so nasty. And all they want to do is hurt each other. I'm sorry. The, the brochures didn't say anything like that. I mean, I, I got excited and just kind of left. Well, I'm sorry. Come on. Let's go. Let's go home. Come on. And you better tell somebody where you're going next time instead of just running off. I just chasing you around on a strange planet. Don't worry, Mom. Have to come in here. There wouldn't be another place to rather be than home. Here she comes. All done by high school kids. All done by high school Amazing. kids. Amazing. And that's, yeah. that's what's coming out of the behind the lens. That's what's coming out behind the lens. I mean, Jeff was just visioning on the 48-hour film project that, uh, I, you know, I was on set. I was supervising. And, uh, but... I just let the kids, you know, go out and make their decisions and make the best choices with the equipment and their shots and, and you know, give directions to them uh, when they need it. And, uh, it didn't make you crazy? You don't want to jump in and go, you know, Well, sometimes, sometimes you do because you want to speed things along, but then that's the whole... I always feel like 
you know, as, a, as executive director of the program, that the best way to learn is by doing. And if they make mistakes and then we go and watch those mistakes, then we can, you know, figure out how to make those corrections and that kind of thing. But, you know, kids today are just really quick. You can't really lecture them anymore and talk about, well, back in the day when I was a little, they don't want to hear that. <laughs> no, they don't want to hear that at all. I mean, they'll hear it for the first, the first minute. They're like, okay, go ahead. Yeah, you did a lot of important things. Good, good, good. I get a hold of the camera. What do I get to do? And uh, so I just kind of like uh, follow their lead and, and, and let them get out there, shoot, shoot their films, and, and, um, and then make the corrections. And yeah, and we did, we did everything. You know, they did everything. Uh, with, they wrote the screenplay. And um, this year they had to use, what is it, cheese? cheese. And the line was, uh, uh, I've looked for it and I can't find it. Yeah. You know? right. And I did a little cameo in there, that kind of thing. Nice. But uh, overall, though, you know, I'm, I'm really impressed with, with the kids and, and where they're at and their level of interest. And they come, they come ready to go. And so this Speaking about that, where do they come from? Like, where, where do they come into the program? Different high schools, or how are they? Yeah, we're, we're looking at different high schools. And uh, this, uh, one of our first sessions, you know, everything, high schools here in Norfolk, you know, and there's plans to, you know, probably expand out of, uh, beyond that. But right now, the high school's from, from, you know, the Norfolk area. And uh, a lot of, like, one of the biggest things, that, biggest kicks that I get out of all of this is, is just to actually sit back and see their work. And then we have a final presentation. And then at that presentation, you get it to, to see, like, the whole reel of what they put together. And this, the final session of this year is going to be a thesis project. And they're going to take a a screenplay that has about uh, 15, maybe, maybe 10 pages, 10 to 12 pages, and actually shoot the whole thing from, you know, beginning to end. And, wow, uh, take yeah. them from pre-pro all the way Pre-pro all to the way to editing. And we're going to take, we've had uh, three sessions, so we're going to take the top students from each of the sessions and put them together and, and let them go out and make their own film. Well, one of the things that, you know, we try to promote is Hampton Roads as a region for film, and, and this is great. I love the fact that you're doing this. You mm -hmm. think you got any big projects you can bring us here to shoot where we can <laughs> you know, work down here for some guys? I, I, was sharing that, I was sharing that with Miss Easley today and some of the folks here. I've been really inspired this summer. And uh, so I started actually working on uh, a little proposal. And uh, so soon to start knocking on some doors and calling some favors in, and, 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 and we'll see. I mean, the facilities are here, you know, we the talent it. is here, we the crews it. are here, yeah. everything is here, and now we have the tax incentive. Yep. <laughs> so right. Thank maybe you. not as big as Georgia's or, 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 uh, or Louisiana, but you know, you never know. You just never know. You always get started, and, you and we, get started, we talk about right. it on the show all the time that it's a little bit of lower cost to do everything here anyway, so yeah. it helps with, with you know, not only having that incentives, but with the wage rates and room rates, yes. it can make a whole affordable package. It can. So we're going to have to go to break. I was going to say, yeah, it's, and it was a fateful visit that time you came yeah. down. I'm, I'm, Gail made a great choice <laughs> of hooking you up here with us. We're happy to have you. Yeah. Well, I'm happy to be here, and you guys do excellent work, and thanks for having me. Thanks a lot. When we'll we back, you. Marlon Adams and Mailbag. 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 <laughs> See you when we get back. Mm -hmm. Ah, uh, Neil writes in, what is a C stand? Well, Neil, a C stand is something the grip department uses and they either use it as a light stanchion like you see kind of behind us here or to hold a flag or one of many different things they may need to grip. Uh, Bunny writes, Bunny. is Jay single? Jay? Three minutes with Jay, Jay? Jay, Jay, well, look him up on Facebook, Bunny. <laughs> Jay Gates. Uh, oh, 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 yep, 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 here we go, and text on my brand new phone from Imani. Hey, do y'all like to dance? Well, I say, yeah! Ow! Dancing! Dancing to Hollywood Hampton Rose! Yeah, yeah this ain't Ellen. So, we are going to see you when we get back. Bye back, Hollywood Hampton Rose, people! See you when we get back. It's time to experience Passion, the restaurant, Chesapeake's best kept secret. Nestled in the heart of Greenbrier on Volvo Parkway, Passion offers a fine dining experience in a relaxing setting that's perfect for almost any occasion. We use the best quality ingredients. All of our produce is locally grown. Come visit us and share our passion. Okay, ladies. 
Let me show you how it's done. All right, Pop. Sweet. Oh, yeah. Why didn't you bring cigars? Oh, like that would have helped. Hey, did you just come out of the water? You need cigars, and you need a new swing. <laughs> Allow me to present an award-winning full-bodied masterpiece, the Don Pepin Blue Label. And as for your swing, have you tried tennis? <laughs>
time for people with schedules and all the things they have to do and all the opportunities for kids. So, oh, absolutely, and you see it. You see it. Uh, I had the pleasure of being involved with my son this year at the Little Marlon. League. Marlon Jr. Marlon Jr. <laughs> and uh, we were over at the Fleet Park uh, uh, Baseball League, and you know it is a monumental commitment. Parents uh, getting your kids to these games. Some parents have two or three kids. They got different time schedules. You could spend all day, all day Saturday, easily, at a baseball park or a soccer field. Um, and there's, these parents are doing this on a regular basis. Um, and I think, and, and more importantly, you have uh, people who administer these leagues. You know, the coaches who are essentially unpaid volunteers. Mm -hmm who commit a lot of time, not only do they practice during the games, but there's also a lot of practice that goes on in, in buying water and getting kids who need a mm -hmm. ride to the car. It's, it's just a, a very uh, substantial commitment, and, but it, it does pay off, and it has paid off in, in ways that a lot of areas don't necessarily appreciate uh, in terms of the level of success that, um, that these programs have produced in all these professional athletes. So, well, Marlon, real quick, because we're running out of time, when do you think we'll see this and where can it be seen? Uh, well, we, our, um, our goal is to have this um, up and, and broadcast by fall um, 2011, and we are um, proud to and, and happy to have WHRO as our broadcast partner on this. Oh. So, so we, um, we've got a lot of the regional assets here involved with this project. Not, the, the, not only the, the, the infrastructure, the people structure of the success of youth athletics are involved with this, uh, some of the superstars, but also you know, the regional broadcast superstar, as, as it were, here Great. in Hampton Roads. Hampton Roads superstars, the people structure of success. Marlon, yeah. thank you very much for coming on our show. Yeah, I appreciate you coming by. Thank you. For and that's, us. again, all the time we have for oh. this fourth episode of Hollywood Hampton Roads. So until next time, See ya. Hollywood Hampton Roads. Hollywood Hampton Roads. Hollywood Hampton Roads. Ciao. <coughs>